Hello everyone, welcome back to the City Skylines Achievement Challenge. So while I was sitting here waiting for, you know, stuff to happen, um, apparently we just unlocked playing with the boys. So having a thousand squares of tourism specialization or specialized commercial zone in here, we've unlocked that. That's awesome. Uh, a couple things that I want to make a note of real quick is... Um, Today we're going to be focusing on transportation, so we should be able to get some of these transport line stuff taken care of. Um, I do want to go in and do like a, a snowfall thing just to get those changed and out of the way. Um, a couple disasters that we still need to do. Some of this stuff is like real long-term goal stuff and, um, you know, like scenario stuff. Not much I can do with that. Um... So we'll just kind of go through some of this stuff. I, I think we're going to be wrapping this series up. Honestly, today, um, there's there's not much more I can do with this. Um, there's like just simple things. And I, I honestly want to be able to really get into um, designing on the next series and everything. I'm, I'm constantly looking around as I'm driving around the city, my own city, and I'm thinking I could do this, I could do that in the game. This is a really cool concept. Um, so I, I really want to start in on that. Uh, it's I'll come back to this. It, it may this may end up being like a once a week thing instead of a week, you know, instead of a daily thing, you know, um, just to maybe kind of let the game play on a little bit and and just kind of you know let some things happen, right? Um, so what I want to do first and foremost today is I want to put a tram line going into the, uh, the college area here. I think that that's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be really cool to do that. Um, and this area right here, this spruce district is a perfect area in order to put this tram line because it's just, it's a huge avenue that goes all the way around. Um, and I think I just think it would be great. And I think it would make it really easy for people to go, you know, from here over to here via the tram rather than, you know, via whatever else. Um, so looking at looking at these tram tracks that we have available to us, so we have a two lane road with tram tracks, which I don't really know how that would work. Um, if I let me upgrade like this road here. So, um, I mean, I guess the tram is like right in the middle of everything along with this, which I guess would be okay. Um, let me see. Let me go to the tram itself here. Metro tram. Okay. And can I make like actual like tram tracks themselves? Yeah. So I can do a tram track that comes, uh, maybe like out, uh, this way and like down this way because th this will be a turnaround right here um, and then we could actually make this uh, we, we can make this up really nice and everything too you know um, I could even go out I can go as far as like going out this way 45 degree angle there and going there like that something I don't know something like that maybe um, Actually, actually, what I can do, instead of having it, like, right here and being all weird and everything, um, why don't we upgrade, why don't we upgrade this back to that? That way it just goes around it like that. I like that. That's a good idea. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade this here. So let's go back to our actual tracks here. And let's upgrade that. And then, really, I want to upgrade this whole thing all the way around here. Ah, see, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Should have known. That's why I don't like to drag some of this stuff. So let's... That is not what I wanted at all. Let's do this. And actually, I think... Um, I think putting a tram in here is one of the achievements. So we'll get that done real quick. Uh, let's see. This is... Wow. And then we can actually continue the tram down this way. All the way down, like it can come all the way down this shopping area, which I think is a great idea. 
Actually, let's go ahead and do that too while we're doing this. We'll get this upgraded. Okay, so there's that. And then let's get this upgraded. So a little bit of an angle, which works. Uh, let's see, all the way down here, all the way down. There we go. All right, and then obviously we need a turnaround area. So why don't we have, um, let's do a tram track and it comes out. We'll have the tram track come out here. Come down and around. So here's our turnaround. <clears throat> okay. And then I think, I think it might be good to have a turnaround somewhere in here. Maybe have a, uh, maybe have a tram track, like come out to, can we curve it? Can we curve a tram track? We can. So maybe I take it and curve it and go like that with it. Because I feel like we could have like a turnaround here so that we're not having to have like one huge long tram track going around here. Okay, and then we're going to need a tram depot. All right, so our tram tracks are here. The depot itself. So we have forestry out here. Why don't we put the depot like out here? But let's put it. <clears throat> Can we put it like right here? Uh, or let's see, the tracks are right there. Oh, this is an avenue coming down this way. So let's, okay, so let's put it right here. Yeah, the tram track can go, okay, so that can go there. And then we'll upgrade this. Coming all the way down this way. Okay. And then we'll add like, we'll add like a stop or something like that in here, I guess. Um, probably upgrade like this here and then do, do the same thing like right here. Let's take a tram track out this way down and around. So we'll have a turnaround here. I guess I could have the tram track come all the way down here too. <laughs> okay, now I'm just getting like way too deep into this. <laughs> um, all right, let's focus on adding tram stations into, let's put one. Oh yeah, you can do this on two sides too. Okay, so let's have this go in this direction. Okay, so we'll do a stop here at the college and then we'll go, we'll have it continue on down this way. So we'll do a stop there, there. And we'll actually do, we'll do a loop. Okay. That's what we'll do. We'll do a loop. Um, we'll have you go down. Let's see. We have one stop in there. We'll do an additional stop there. One there. Another one here. There. There. And then loop it back around. Let's actually do an additional stop here. And then we'll also go there. There we go. And then that unlocks that achievement. Here's a tram. <laughs> there you go. And here's your sign. At least that's what they used to say. Anyway. Okay. So let's have, let's have a, st a tram stop go here and then come down this way. Right? Yeah. We'll have it come down this way. It'll go up and around there. We'll have one stop here. We'll have another one stop there and there, and then we'll have it turn around, stop on the other side of the tr street, the treat, <laughs> the street there, there, and then there. And actually I want to add a stop right there. So that way we have trams going in two different directions here. And then we can add Let's create a line that goes from here, adding a couple stops in throughout here. That'll go down. Let's actually have this go down here. 
and then add a stop there and then go around in this direction. Like that. Okay. And then what I want to do is I actually want to, let's get rid of, we'll drag this stop to move it over. Well, let's get rid of that stop. And then I'm going to add another line that goes in the opposite direction. So that's going to go not here. I think I need to go down here first. Yes. So we'll actually go in the opposite direction here. So there's one, two, uh, three, four. Is that right? Yeah. And then five, six. I might want to add some stops in here. This doesn't seem like it's enough. It really doesn't. I mean, granted, people don't mind walking in this game. They really, really don't. So I think I think that's going to be good. You know, some of these businesses that are over here are complaining about, you know, not having enough people and stuff. But I mean, once once these tram lines happen it'll it'll get people moved around pretty easily i think um okay so that was the tram line what about um what about let's see we need 20 and 50 transportation lines which we're working on that uh here's a tram have 10 tram lines active okay that might be a little difficult <laughs> That, I think, is going to be a bit of a challenge to do. Um, I mean, heck, trying to get up to 100,000 people is a challenge in itself. Plus, without having... Um, I'm going to have to get like down here to the ground level to see this crap. I mean, without having you know mods on right now, it's, it's very, very difficult to see what's happening. So why don't we go ahead and check out... Let's see, trams, this one, tram line four, one, two. So we have four tram lines currently. What did that say we needed? Was it 10? Yeah, 10 active tram lines. And we already, I mean, we already have four. And it's really just taking effect in this large scale area over here. I mean, I could... No, we're not going to do that. I'm very indecisive on this. I really am. I'm extremely indecisive in this city. I don't like it. But it's just mostly because I don't really care that much about this city. It's just like using it to get the achievements. <laughs> Which I know, I mean, it's sad. It, it really, really is. You know, I, I should put more effort into it, but I just haven't. Uh, where are we doing on? How are we doing on the academic works here? Hey, look at that. 44,000 Colossal City. That gives us nuclear power, cargo hub, all that other fun stuff and everything. Okay, cool. That's great. Yeah, I can definitely tell my heart is not in it today. <laughs> like, seriously. I mean, I was, I, I've was i enjoyed doing the other two episodes that I've done today, but for some reason, this one's just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just because it's... It's just a lot, maybe? I'm not being as in-depth design as I really like to be with this. I'm just like so focused on the achievements and nothing else. And the city kind of looks like crap because of it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, why don't we go ahead and add, let's just add some more people in. Um, we've got an area over here that I think we can expand on. Oh, let's see. So let's go out this way. This can actually come down this way. Um, you know, I think we will. I think I'll do that. I'll do that. And then I'll take this down this way. And we'll have this come all the way down like that. That actually works out perfectly. Um, 
And then give me high density residential. Just all the way down through here. And since we have this as just all office buildings, I don't see why not to add more in here. Um, let's take this to... Actually, let's take this that way. And then we've got more office buildings there. We'll take this down to about here and actually go straight down to the highway with it. Um, da, 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 office buildings there, there, and there. I actually really like how these office buildings have turned out. I think it looks really nice. We'll take all that through here. And then we'll do office buildings all the way down through here. I mean, especially like in this area right here, I think the office buildings look amazing. So as much as I gripe and moan and everything about how, you know, the city doesn't look right and everything, I mean, it actually does look pretty decent, okay? It's not bad. It's it's the traffic that I have a hard time with, but that's just because I've, I've done horribly on the roads. Um, I am not this bad at, at this. This is this is not me normally. It's just not. I just did not really care to do much with the roads because I didn't feel like it. So and it shows. Um, I think I can do. Maybe something like this over here to where it kind of dead ends a little. That can go like that, okay. And then that can be offices as well. That'll be offices. That can be offices. It's a lot of freaking offices in here, I'm telling you. It really is. Um, do I have an IT cluster in over here? I feel like I want to say I do, but... I don't think that I do, actually. Let's take that off the avenue. Take that off the avenue. Hmm, maybe not. Okay. Nope, not much I can do uh, about that here. Um... I'm, I'm... Ooh, I love this. That's a great view of the city. Okay. There's a couple of disasters that we haven't experienced yet. One being a tsunami. Don't think a tsunami is going to happen in a river town. Unless it happens in this lake over here. Um, I, I might. I might. I don't know. What do you guys think about me doing a live stream? And then us just going in and randomly picking stuff out to try and do. I don't know. It sounds like that would be kind of fun. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of that. Um, let's go ahead and oh, we need water out here. We're also getting to the point with this city. Our city limits are kind of running small here. <laughs> um, if I'm looking at this, yeah, see, I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm at capacity over here. I can go north, but I can't go any more west. Um, and then it would help if I hit fast forward on the city. I mean, we can definitely go south. Um, we can go over here, too. So there's still room to grow. There is. First academic year is done. Still unrecognized. Two toga parties. Uh, we did complete one academic works. Okay, so that's good. All right, so let's actually, let's go down to the campus. Uh, where is University of Rockfield? Let's do a discovery. And let's increase the academic staff. I think that'll make it go faster. Let's see. While hired academic staff accumulates a bonus to the academic work creation change throughout the time span of the academic year. Okay. So we'll just kind of increase that a little bit. It'll make our profits go down some, but no big deal. We need an additional academic works and we need a crap ton more students. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at education then while we're looking at that because here's the thing. People actually do need to go to school in order to get into the university. So we are lacking big time 
in that aspect of things. So what can I put down that will make the least amount of disruption? So let's put an elementary school here. We'll put an additional one down there. And then I think we can actually add, let's add one to a couple of areas that haven't built up yet. So four elementary schools down in here. Um, let's go ahead and add in an elementary school there. Oh, High Park area. Let's add an elementary school in over here. Let's see. So eligibility, 4,000 students. We currently have capacity for 3,200. I think I'll leave it there. High school is horrible as well. <laughs> Should have known. Should have known. So the high school, let's place one here. Uh, I'm going to place another one over here. I really don't need that many more. Um, I think another one over here will be good. And let's place another one. Let's see, there's an elementary school there. So let's put a high school right across the street from it. And then we're fine. Uh, University is totally fine. Capacity is 10,150. Eligible is 5,436. Very interesting. So we need to get people bust in over there. Public library, which we have nothing happening with. Um, modern text, uh, public library, here we go. Let's add in, ooh, that's way too big for this area. No, not for right there though. Let's go ahead and add one in here. Let's add an additional one. Ooh, I can actually put one right there. I can actually add one in here, but I have stuff in the way. So let's move the high school to the corner and the elementary school to the corner. We'll add the public library in here. I think we can go ahead and add another public library in there. So we have a high school there, elementary school there. Perfect to add that in there. Can't put one here because there's not enough room. Let's add that one there. And I'm actually going to put one over here across the... Uh, let's put it over here. No, I'm not going to put it over there. We'll leave it. We'll leave that alone. Um, university, we're good. High school, we're good. All right, so we're totally fine on education now. I do need to figure out a way to get people from point A to point B, and especially over here to the university. Campus area info, we only have 118 students attending currently. Let's look at the line details for this. Nobody's using it. Um... I mean, we could put a metro system in, but that's just, that's going to take a lot of time <laughs> to do. Um, I mean, I could do, I could do something simple and quick. So I could do, I could go one there, two, and then three. And then I can have, I could go one, two, three, and another one here. And let's go ahead and add another one there. So then these will be real easy. We'll connect these together. I'll take this one. I'm gonna go like that with it. This one we'll just take down to there. 
That will just hook up to that. That'll hook up to that. And that'll hook up to that. <laughs> and then we'll actually take this and hook that up to that. We'll just make it cut right straight across. And then I want to take... I want to take a station and I'll put it in here. Because that'll be close to the tram line over there. And then this can actually just connect up to that. Not completely realistic, but... Oh, no, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. Let's just have you connect up to that. So then we'll create a line that goes from here to there and back. And then I'm going to create a line that goes from there to there to there, 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 and then back in on itself. And then we'll start a line here, there, there, and then go to here, and then come back on itself. There you go. Okay, so now we have a subway system, a small one, <laughs> a very, very small and spread out one, right? Uh, but that's, all, I mean, that's all right. We'll, we'll get a lot of people using it. A lot of people love using the subway. Um, what I want to see is here's our subway system here, and then here's our tram stop that's right here. So we look at the line details of where we're at. This right here should start blowing up. Like we should start seeing. See, you've got a lot of people coming in here. A lot of people just jumped off the subway, right? So they're going to come down. They're going to come over to here to the crosswalk. They're going to come onto the tram station. Boom. There you go. There you go. All these people are starting to get onto here now. So if we look at this train station here, so weekly passengers 269. And then these should start line details, line details, please. Thank you. So here we go. That should be, that's not that station. Okay. Um, 35 is that station. 42, 15. What is this station? I don't know what this station is. <laughs> well, that just threw everything off for me. Now I don't know where I went. I think right here. Yeah, yeah, right here. So, I mean, the trams are coming pretty frequently, though, which is good. We've got, oh my god, look at all the people riding the subway. Holy crap. Okay, so let me look at, let's go subway, let's go, I want to say that was the first line. Let's look at line details for that one. Yeah, that's only got two stops. So we have 54, wow, 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 220, wow, seriously? So the train just went up to 180. So we've got 180 people now that are going to be dropped off over here at this other station. And over here at this station, that's the transfer station that people are going to. So people are getting dropped off here. They're going, oh, I'm, I'm still following this guy. So if we go back over to here, so we'll see people on that line. They'll get off the train here and then go over to this side. That's great. That's absolutely great. So then how has this affected attendance over here? Or has it at all? It's at 135. So we've we've gone up a little bit. Okay, now we're going back down. <laughs> so I mean, but it's at least doing something for us. I mean, people are utilizing this. We just had, oh look, a bunch of students got off here. 149, 152, 
Um, we just had more students go in, so 155. So that's, I mean, that's good, right? You know, we, we're, people are utilizing it. We have it going. It's working out well for us. Um, how are we doing over here? What are we doing with this? Oh, yeah. See, this is definitely picked up now. This is what I love the most about this game is getting these types of things in here and then seeing all of these people moving around for it, right? They're just piling themselves in. They're going shopping. They're having fun. They're going clubbing or what have you. The bus stops are insane. I think we can probably get rid of some of these bus stops because the trams are now going. Um, and I think that, uh, that might actually force them to do that. I wish there were like crosswalks in here that we could do, but there's not. So that might, uh, put a little damper on things. So, but anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for today. Um, I think what we'll do is, you know, Mondays will be the, uh, city skylines achievement challenge days. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there on, uh, on what I'm going to do next. There's there's some stuff that I'm looking into here with the channel. There's a couple things that I want to do. Uh, a couple things that I'm playing around with. Um, so we'll do some short episodes of stuff. Uh, Meeple Station is going to be one of those because they've done a lot of updates to it. So we'll see uh, what's been going on with that game here lately. Uh, but other than that, that is all I have. Thank you so much for watching today, everyone. And I'll see you next time.